first thing that I want to ask of you. I know, that's a creepy picture I drew for you. You didn't draw this, did you? I sure did. <laughs> but um, I was thinking that maybe, <clears throat> um, and I want to get into this later, but you've won like a lot of awards and like so deservedly. And I don't know what that process is like because I've never been nominated. I mean, I think maybe for an MTV movie award. By the way, that's probably the most relevant for (laughs) people. I didn't, didn't win, but But you were nominated. I was nominated. (laughs) But I was thinking that we could start off if you don't mind. If I pretended that one of these steins was an Oscar and you were accepting it on my behalf and you were going to do a thank you on my behalf. Are you okay, ready? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Regina, are you ready? Oh, Anna. Anna would be just, first of all, she would say, stop calling her Anna. And then second, she would say, I really, really am proud of this. Award for Scary Movie 17. But my best work, was it House Bunny? Was it? Was that it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir, there in the audience. This is, this is really dear uh, to Anna. She, she couldn't be here. Um, but this means a lot. This means a lot. I, I feel really honored to accept this. <laughs> I'm going to take this home with me. Anna and I are going to have a nice bottle of wine and we'll see if she goes home with it because this was something that I really was supposed to get. (laughs) Where was I? What happened there? (laughs) I wish I could win a freaking Oscar. Well, wait a minute. So can you accept this on my behalf? Uh, Hey, Sim, do you know what some of the music is? The, the the actual music that they play yeah. during the Oscars, yeah. like the 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 uh, yeah, turns orchestral, out, yeah, like something like and Virginia King wins the Oscar. I was hoping to be like something like seventies exploitation. <laughs> Excuse me, you're not <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not here. Um, I I am so honored um, to accept this award on Regina's behalf. Um, there's no one in Hollywood that has earned this more than she has. Um, this is about freedom of speech. This is about um, this is about the idea of what it is to be a woman. This is the idea of after you've been molested by your father, <laughs> how we go through this journey together. And Regina could not be here tonight um, because I believe that she is in Sardinia at a gorgeous hotel. I won't elaborate. Um, But I will say on behalf of all women who have felt unhurt underprivileged women who should drink out of a beer stein (laughs) this is for Regina Regina the name that means queen (laughs) I want to accept your award over (laughs) after a speech like that that means so much you're here you want to do it again I do, but I feel like I, I, it would be an epic fail because it wouldn't be I, as. If you want to try it, if you want to try it again, you can try it again. I was joking. No, but I, I mean, yeah. Let's I try it again. You. Let's try it again. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Because I had like a really awesome idea. Okay, so yes. Yes. really, she's gonna yeah. do it. Okay. So um, <gasps> really, this yes. is gonna be my fantasy yeah. come true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Let's my see. gosh! Thank you so much uh, for um, for 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 you know not just nominating Anna, but. That she would actually win. Um, we worked so hard on this movie together. This was a labor of love for us. Um, twins. Twins. We And playing twins. And people said we couldn't do it. And, <laughs> I mean, our makeup and hair teams actually um, amazing. I mean, they totally just 
transformed um, Anna into a black woman and me into a white woman. And <laughs> they say it would be offensive, but I don't think it was. No, it was not offensive at all. And um, I am honored to stand here on behalf of. Um, don't cry. Please don't cry. Um, don't cry, please. Um, if you cry, I'll cry. Um, I love you, Anna. I love you, too. Please, please don't. Okay, I'll keep it together. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of those studios that turned it down. And um, a big fuck you. And a big F you. Oh, I can say fuck you. You can say fuck you. Fuck you. And um, we're here. We're and here. we did this shit. Drops Mike. <laughs> That's I'm, I'm speaking it into existence. Yeah! That we will work yes! together. Yes. So that's why I had twins. to do it over. Twins! Can we be twins? Let's be twins. Let's be twins. Tw- as long mama. as my body could look like yours looked in uh, the house bunny. Oh my God. What were you just eating? Carrots? Title bomb. No. Jeez. <laughs> now it's like fucking. Blech, blech, oh my gosh. Titty, titty, tongue, tongs. Titty tong tongs. I know. Tell it me about them. Sense. Well, but yeah, it's just like big padded things and like sucking in things and then eventually like actually like the big thing. The whip, yeah, whip, but you had on bathing it. suits, bikinis. You look <sighs> freaking hot. I love you. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All the time, I could imagine. Jeez, you look so awesome in that movie. I was like, look <sighs> at this bitch here. Oh my gosh. All right, so all right, so now um, we have some things that we also want to talk about. Okay. Okay. So, um, oh wait, so we already kind of got into a little bit of this thing. Should we go into deal breaker? Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna do a deal breaker okay. segment, which means, um, and you don't have to talk about your personal life at all. All right, but. This is a scenario where you're single. So real life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to present some scenarios to you, and you will say, deal breaker or no. Okay. Okay. And if you feel like elaborating on why it's a deal yes. breaker or not, okay. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Okay. So number one, you are seeing a guy that you really like. He takes you to Ojai for your first couple's trip. It's going great. After dinner at Oliviella, things start to get hot and heavy in the room. Right as he is about to climax, he screams out, Show me the money. (laughs) Deal breaker. (laughs) Hmm. I'm sorry, Wolf. It depends. I can't really say it's a deal breaker. If I climax before, <gasps> oh, okay, all right, I like. This. I think yeah. that's important. Uh huh. <laughs> if I climax more than once, let's say a couple of times before he yelled out, "Show me the money," I just might pretend like I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I feel like I, I would. You know, I mean, he he did take me to Ohio and. Had an amazing massage, and yep. now <laughs> if I didn't climax, okay, but let's, well, let's okay, say it right. like this. All right, jump in the morning. <laughs> uh, then yeah, that might be a deal breaker if he didn't look sexy doing it. <laughs> Fair enough, but I must say that if I was able to get mine first. I might have to, you know. I like, I like it. Generosity yeah. of spirit. I like there it. you go. Okay, next one. All right. You think you have found the one, a great guy with a successful career in sports medicine. After dating for two months, 
Oh, wait, that sounds like it might be Yeah, yeah, you, you oh, might right, be hitting right. on something. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. You know it's going to stray. Okay, okay, go. <laughs> Very far from okay. it. Whatever <laughs> was, yep. might have been happening. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, a great guy with a successful career in sports medicine. After dating for two months, he takes you to a movie, to, uh, movie date to see Pete's Dragon. Halfway through the movie, he grabs your hand, puts it down his pants, and says, why don't we let my dragon come out and fly? Oh, my God. Yeah, deal breaker. That's <laughs> disgusting. That sounds so, like, you know, pervy. Yeah. What? First of all, Where what's Pete's dragon? <gasps> it's, it's a child. It's a child <laughs> movie. Yeah, that's why I said it's so, <laughs> so pervy. Just making sure that I did get that movie right. Who wrote this stuff? Uh, no, this one This and one is Cassie. No, it's Cassie. <laughs> Somebody's like turning red and ducking. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be a deal breaker for sure. I like it. Um, okay. Now this is involving a child, your son. Probably deal breaker already. Your son brings home a woman he really likes. Would this be a deal breaker? And we'll get back to the other deal breakers involving your sex life later. Um, <laughs> your son is dating a young woman that you really get along with. One evening, over wine, she tells you she doesn't want kids because she's really worried about her pussy being enlarged. <laughs> oh, her poor vagina. <laughs> uh, well, do you like her? <laughs> Th- that, that's, that's the thing. Do I really like her? Well, you did before, but after maybe she said, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You know, hey, if if that if she's his jam, I mean, I guess I have to. Oh my God, you're so much better than I am. Because you want grandkids? No. I want. Oh no, I wouldn't want like my son's <laughs> wife to be like. I don't want my pussy getting big. Well, he may not want it to get big either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about him. Like, you know, that might be, th- th- that's their conversation. I would just, I just, yes, it would probably be uncomfortable if she started okay. talking about her. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of a role play with you. Okay. Let's pretend I'm uh, your son's girlfriend. Okay. And we're, we're, where are we? Um, we're at your house. Whatever finish you have on this table is great. You just kind of beat it up like a sports car. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Hi, Mama Gina. Girl, I told you about calling me Mama Gina. (laughs) I know, but I can't help it. I just feel like we're kindred spirits. I'm your spirit animal? Yeah. (laughs) You are my loyalist. Um, (laughs) But I need to talk to you about your son. All right. What about him? I love him so, so, so much. I do, too. Mm, I know. Mm. Um, but um, he wants to have a kid at some point, I think. And I just really feel like my pussy's going to get really big if I have a kid. Well, if there was a way for you to have a child without... Please, can, you, can we use the word vagina instead? And I like... Vagina with a B instead of a V, because it's more personal. You're like my ba mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Think of me as your ba mama. If you could have a child without your vagina getting big, would you want to have a child? How much of my life do you think I would have to give up? A a, a big deal of it. But there would be so much more to life you'd gain. Like what, but mama? <laughs> well, you'd have unconditional love. You've had, you would have someone that loves you, whether your vagina is big or small. But you already give that to me. No, I don't, sweetheart. <laughs> you should hear the things I say about you when you're not here. <laughs> but it's all with love. And it's, all, uh, it's all from a loving place. I will say that. You would also gain a friend that 
trusts and believes in you no matter what you do. My child's going to be my best friend. Um, be careful with that. I'm just saying, uh, oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, what a... But Ma, what, yes, baby. I love you so much. I love you too. And I love Hollywood. Did and you I get into know. those pills again? <laughs> Mm, I told you, you stay out of my yard. No, and I told you stay out of it. <laughs> but, but, Mama, I also want to know how to make it in Hollywood. Mm. You know, I don't think my son is right for you. You're fucking stunning. Oh, thank you. It is I have so on a fucking true. Full face of makeup because I came from an interview. Well, you look. You're just fucking stunning, Regina. Oh. Are you telling the truth? I am. Okay. <laughs> See? Why are we... We are like making love. Right? Oh, oh, oh. You can yeah. tell. Yes. I I'm, know I'm, that. Yes, I'm, like, I'm receiving it. Yes. <laughs> receiving I'm not lying. It. I would Oof. not lie to you. Jack and Ian's mamas. <laughs> I would not lie to you. You look fucking stunning. And you know I like when... Fucking stunning. Why? Why when you put fucking in front of something, it means that much more? Like it, 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 it Yeah, it's it's real when you say I'm fucking Fuck. serious. Yeah, it's much different than I'm serious. I'm fucking serious. I'm fucking serious. It means more, especially when you're a person coming from conviction. It's it, like, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, so another. Um, you've been dating a guy for three months. Okay. He takes you to the beach, one night. To watch a meteor shower. The mood is very romantic. Suddenly, he brushes the hair behind your ear, leans in, and whispers sweetly, My mom always called my penis June Buck. Would you please rename it for me? That's so disgusting. (laughs) (laughs) How many did you guys say no to before you went with that one? We went through a bunch. Wow. <laughs> we went through, like, June Bug was the name we came, with, came up with. That, that was on us. Wow. That one made me kind of sweat a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. It was sounding kind of sexy. I wanted to go bound, chuck yeah, it down, like it down. You, were, you know, I was you moving could, through it. You were in Cabo on the beach. Oh. Midnight. But I think it's interesting that, that her, um, his mom named the penis June Bug. Well, that's what I want to know. Why yeah. would the mom name his penis Junebug? Well, I mean, my only thought could be, you know, maybe the first time he peed on her, changing the diaper, and she was just like, you and your little Junebug. <laughs> I don't know. What the hell? Why is a mom naming a son's penis? <laughs> oh, God. that's Don't tell me you. No one's here has named their child's <laughs> penis, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not offending anyone by saying what mom would do that right now, am I? <laughs> yeah, I was all like in it. And then you said, my mom. Right, right. Yeah. And I knew it was going to go way left. It took a weird but, turn. Yeah, but I didn't know it was going to, like, that was like a U-turn. I know, yeah. it was kind of yeah. awful. Kind of awful. I mean, great in, in in that vein of the but what would you name what would be like a good name for a man's penis well i think a good name for a woman's vagina is heather (laughs) so (laughs) i think isn't heather it's a good name it is a good name so is that what you call it like uh like uh heather is really annoyed right now she needs to be pleased (laughs) Something like that. That would be yeah, good, yeah. right? I should totally yeah. talk about that. Oh my god! Listen, I'm totally fine, but Heather's really you know, Heather needs some attention. <laughs> Lots of attention. <laughs> She's high maintenance. Yeah, she comes from Orange County. <laughs> from Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heather from the Bay. Um, mm. what would be a good meal? A name for a yeah for a penis. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Should it be something like slightly emasculating, like Philippe? (laughs) (laughs) No, because I think you'd laugh every time. (laughs) 
I think, but, it, but is that kind of empowering, or should it be something like um, crispy? <laughs> I don't know why that just came to my head. I feel like you're gonna chomp, 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 and chomp yeah, on Mister oh, Crispy. crispy. <laughs> <laughs> that could be one. I think. I think that might be one. That's 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 the top for, the front runner right now. Um, men, what would you yeah. guys like? Oh God, don't ask me. Come on. Do you have like a? You guys all have names for your penis. I know. You I know. We kind of do, but you like, just don't we're tell not us. Gonna, you yeah, know you do. Maybe. You know you do. That's true. Maybe you're right. You know you do. Have do you dated you? someone that's named his penis? Never? No, never told me his name, but I know every man has a name for it. You guys are just too into, you just have to. Do you think, what's better, pussy, uh, cunt, like what's, like, like what's I think good, you're talking about like, yeah, yeah, vagina name. I think, I think vagina isn't sexy when you're in the, yeah, the, like, yeah, can I put this in your vagina? vagina yeah, that's yeah. like, mm. <laughs> Um, I think yeah. pussy yeah, is the best good. one. Yeah. 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 When, when you're, you know, when you're talking about, yeah. you know, yeah. pleasing Heather. Yeah. I love <laughs> the way you call you're her. looking at me right now. My husband's gone. <laughs> and I am, I am, really, I'm lonely. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. You're like, what are you tonight? doing? Yeah. After the interview. Uh, yeah. yeah you what are we doing after the over? podcast? <laughs> you can <laughs> sleep over, really. <laughs> Um, I'm getting nervous <laughs> in the best of ways. <laughs> okay, so um, okay, so wait. I think pussy, pussy is better than than vagina. Cunt is not. Cunt is is like that's bad. Like you know, yeah. Come, come, you, ki- come kiss my cunt. Sexy, but I do. What I like to own that word. So I say it a lot. But if you say, if you lick my cunt, yeah, that no. doesn't sound you the same as a lick my yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So pussy's the winner. Pussy's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. What if, what if a man called his penis chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Hey, hey, Regina. Yeah. I know we just met, but how would you like a little taste of my chicken? chicken? <laughs> I mean, what is what do they say on um? <clears throat> what's the um? Oh gosh. Okay, I don't remember which one. I want to say it's Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. You guys probably don't watch it. I do. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. But the Puerto Rican girl calls it beefcake. Mm. She calls it beefcake. A man's penis is beefcake. Her man's penis, her husband's beefcake. That's that's that's, that's, a, piece that's, that's a huge cake. compliment. Yeah. yeah, I would love for I would love for Amy to call my <laughs> penis beefcake. Beef cake. Oh, yeah, what God. would be like the female like? Shouldn't it be something like uh, I don't know, like tight water, like something something that's like super tight, like ver- well, it needs like to be ver- something that's warm and ver- tight and wet. Like, yes. What, what's all of that? Um. Um, Help us out, guys. What's ca- warm? Ca- cavernous, <laughs> like um, warm. A burrito. Oh my God! But didn't someone? Um, the, the there was a movie where a woman said that um, her big burrito. It was yes. Oh my God! That is it. A burrito's good because I know I've heard it in a movie, and I can't remember which movie it was, but she called it her big burrito. I have to ask Rena. I have to call my sister, because she's like... I don't like, think that Chris would be, if I was like, oh my God, baby, my big burrito is craving <laughs> your beef cake. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you say it with an accent, burrito. <laughs> my big burrito. See, that didn't Maybe. sound so bad. That was a little Russian. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Next My time. big burrito. My bloody. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, uh, wait, should we go on to the game or should we do this? <laughs> this is really funny. Okay. Here's okay. the thing. Here's the thing. We're, like, like, we're, we're going to test it out. Okay. She may be completely turned off and Great. she may want to leave Great. after this. This question. is another deal breaker. Yeah. Because okay. of the. Phrase we used here. 
Okay, let's let's just. just what if it. I don't understand it? Can I just say I don't understand? You'll under, you'll get it. Totally you'll context okay. clues. You'll okay, get it. okay. Yeah. All right. I will understand way. Le- oh, good, whatever. Okay. Um, listen, I'm just at the. Uh, okay, <laughs> you are on an incredible fourth date with a man. He says my ex and I didn't work out. It was hard. We weren't very mature at the time and got married too young. We didn't have our careers figure out. figured out. One night I said to her, can I hot juicy on your face? And she just up and left me. Pee in your face? Is that what hot juice is? No, something else. It, come, yeah. come in your face? Yeah, yeah. Hot juicy in your face. Wow. <laughs> Hearing you say that was amazing. <laughs> well, clearly, it'd be a deal breaker. Um, but it's really intimate. It's really an intimate moment between you and He's someone that's not just you. a fourth date. <laughs> He's saying, like, I thought, you know, everything was going well. And I don't know. I just said, can I have juicy? I don't know what could have possibly come on. Then he just had no clue. But he's sharing with me as he's talking to my back, walking (laughs) away, (laughs) getting further and further away till I'm just a speck. Fourth date, hot juice you in the face. I guess you're sharing with me that you wanted to hot juice your girl. (laughs) That is a deal breaker because, well, I'd have to say, let's just say that really happened. I'd have to be curious. I would probably (laughs) ask, how long were you guys together before you said this? Because if they were like together for like years, you know, then I mean, he probably had juiced her before. (laughs) (laughs) Hot juiced her before. (laughs) It was probably when he said. I'd like to hot juice you that made her leave if they'd been together for a long time. If they had been together for a short time, then she was just totally offended and disgusted, which she should have been. But if they've been together for a while, then she knows she has a hot juicing type of guy. (laughs) Yeah, because probably before he just did it. And she was like, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, Regina you is, asshole. Is, is, is taking cum yeah. off her face right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So wait, should we take a break right now? Or no, no, we... no, 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 no. Let's 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 do the um, we do the audition. Do the audition thing? scene, and then uh, we'll do the game, and then we'll do the break. <sighs> I'm so sorry. We have an audition. Oh yeah. Yep. Who's auditioning? Are we both auditioning? You together might be. I'm auditioning, auditioning. for do the. We have- uh, both sides for everybody. Yes, we do. Here are your sides. Okay. So. And you have yours, right? Yeah. What am okay. I auditioning for? Okay, so this is uh, Gleaming the Cube 2, uh, which is a, a skateboarding movie starring um, uh, Christian Slater back in the early 90s. Um, what is the what is it called, Cassie? Gleaming the Cube 2 what? I don't have a sheet in front of me. Gleaming the Cube 2, Let's Grind. Let's Grind. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Let's Grind. Do you remember the Christian Slater classic, Gleaming the Cube? No. Okay. It's a great, wait, great but, I, but I love movie. Lords of Dogtown. Wait, which yeah. one is uh, is uh, Regina Chad? Uh, you're going to play Chad McCullough. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think uh, Regina should play Bryson Jarek. Okay. Two. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but wait, Sim, are you the casting director? No. Nope. You're the casting director, and you're going to read with great. Regina. Okay. Hi, Regina. Hi. I'm Shirley. Hi, Shirley. It's so great to meet you. Nice to meet you. I have admired your work for a really long time. Thank, Thank you, you for coming I'm in. I'm really excited about this. Yeah. it's We're doing sort of an odd, you know, sort of counter casting with this whole skater movie. Right. But You do know I'm 45. Oh. Uh, and we and just I'm a girl. Think you'd be I'm a chick. Perfect for it. Okay. Though. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll play Chad. All right. And you'll be Bryson. Okay. If you don't mind. Sure. I, I just got these uh, oh, sides. Oh, your agent so. didn't send them to you before? No, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so do I have a little time to go out? 
Uh, no, no, you want me to just jump yeah, in? Yeah, oh, if you don't mind. All right, sure, we sure. Just we'll, have we'll try time. it. We'll try it. Let's see. You saw the people in the room. Yeah. Room waiting. Yeah, I saw <laughs> so, a Jennifer yeah. Lopez out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go. Mm-hmm. Sup, Brosif. <laughs> nice chucks on that board. That ramp is the tits. You got this big one? Bruh. Dude, bruh, come on, dude. Brosif, your parents giving you shit? Vape. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I've been thinking about the idea of infinity. Have you ever shaved your friend's balls? I'm not saying I would actually do that. Yeah, vape. I have to tell you something. Never buy oceanfront property. There are towns collapsing under global warming and no one is paying attention. Babe. (laughs) (coughs) I fucked Ashley's pussy. I had juice all over her face. There's a drought, bruh! (laughs) (laughs) And scene. And scene. What the? <laughs> Thank you for having me, Jackie. Your name is Jackie, right? Shirley. 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 Big Shirley. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, actually, I mm. thought you were incredible. Mm. Did you? Yes. I would so, love to bring you in front of the producers. Psh. I mean, <laughs> we, didn't you tape that? Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. I, I mean, I really... I've always wanted to be a 15 year old. <laughs> and once I saw J Lo out there, I knew this was going to be hot. I, I mean, I was blown away. Thank you. And I've been trying to really think outside of the box. Like, they were always like, oh, well, let's get like a white, like 15 year old kid. And that's so obvious. Like, yeah. Yeah. I felt like, let's actually really think outside of the box, you know? Yeah, I'm glad you <laughs> called me in. Yeah, Thank you I mean, because so I'm not that far outside the box, no. but just enough, no, you're not. just enough, just no. enough. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Shirley. Thank you so. It's much. so funny. I've been in this business for thirty years, and I've never met you. <laughs> never heard of you, but uh, well, you're doing something great here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Well, you know, yeah, we are trying to sort of, I don't know, break, I don't know, the mold. Yeah. Yeah. Do you always serve wine on your auditions? <laughs> <laughs> always. Always. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like the type of company I want to work with. <laughs> oh. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Okay, so should we do the game real quick and then we'll take a break and then we'll do the calls? Okay. What do you think? Sure. I love that idea. Yeah. We have a quick game. Okay. That I'm going to play for the, with the two games. of you. Here you go, Anna. This is how I lose. It's a very quick game. Do you We're want gonna the do this tambourine super instead? quick. No. Okay. You guys happy with your buzzers? Yes. Just making sure. Okay. I don't know what the game is. Okay, so we you know we did a game uh, a few weeks ago with Frank Grillo, mm. which was um, which was uh, was it MMA star or porn star, and that was a hit. So we it, decided to do another game. It's a quick game. It's and because football season is upon us mm-hmm. and you were here you actually helped me with our celebrity fantasy draft so thank you so much regina the problem is i have not been keeping up so i don't know your players you're are great. so you're great you, other you than know, i'm like really big you did a great job and i appreciate that and we appreciate it because we're going to win this league okay because of you thank you will i get to be there for the steak dinner when you guys win anna are you kidding we are taking you to italy Sardinia will make that Sardinia Yes I've always wanted to go Me too I've never been Me neither Let's go If we win we're doing it The three of us We're going Yes Let's do it Let's do it Just the three of us I'm sorry Sorry sorry, Amy Sorry Sorry but I'm not flying private I can't afford to fly private No 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 we'll get Chris to take Yeah no Chris will pay for the We'll get Chris to do it Yeah it's fine um, he owes me. Yeah. <laughs> My vagina's loose. <laughs> you you had his baby. 
That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Why did I have to go into like some type of accent right I there? I love I don't, that. And I don't know what that was. What what type of accent that Can was? Can I try it again? Can yeah. I do it? Mm-hmm. You had this baby. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What what accent is that? Uh, I like it. No, but it does seem super sexy and I like The way you move your shoulders oh, when feel. you oh, do oh, it. Oh, baby, why you don't pay attention to me later tonight? I like the sound effects. It's good. Mm. <laughs> you should have slid burrito. Game of Thrones burrito. <laughs> okay. Okay. The name of the game. Me any? High. Any? Oh. We're gonna start the game real quick. Okay. The name so of the game is. And I are going to make love yeah, after yeah. this. You guys have your buzzers. Okay. The name of the game is called football player or stripper. I'm going to give you a name, and you guys will buzz in and decide whether the name is a football player or a stripper. stripper. First question: Ben Gay. Regina. Football player. He plays for the Cleveland Browns. Next question. On a buzzin. You never buzz in. Just fucking buzz in. Fuck you. <laughs> Chesty Morgan. Anna. Porn star. No, stripper, but I'll give you that. It was either the question was either it's a football player or a stripper. I don't know if she's a porn star. She may be. But that sounds like a great porn name. It does. One one. Well, we'll one one. We'll no, give it to her. We'll give it to her. No, 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 no. Give, give it to me. I'm not we'll a charity give, case. You weren't you weren't paying attention to the God name of the damn game. Damn it. Not a charity case. No, it's one it's one tied because up. that was yeah. it's tied that up. wasn't charity. Thanks. It's guys. tied up. You're nice to me. Richie Incognito. Is that a buzz? Oh, yeah. Regina. I feel like I saw Incognito on a jersey before. I'm gonna go with football player. He plays for the Buffalo no. Bills. Good job. <laughs> oh, it's two one, Regina. Here is now. What, what is that saying about me and Anna? I'm, She's well, guessing the <laughs> strippers. <laughs> and you're I'm all the guessing the football right. players. I think the combination. Richie <laughs> make Incognito. A... <laughs> <laughs> I just know I saw it on a jersey. Here's I mean, a... That is a fucked up name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. He had a little bit of drama surrounding him at one point, didn't he? I Incognito. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Well, we'll all right. Let's move on. Yeah. Here's the next one. Luscious pussy. Well, come. We wait, wait. Bring we're it buzz to- in. Buzz it. Somebody buzz in. At the- Anna. <laughs> Anna. Anna. <sighs> I guess that's a porn name. That's incorrect. Luscious pussy happens to be a college football player, and he plays for Eastern Illinois. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's fucked up. It might Thank be Lucius you. Pussy. It might be Lucius. Yeah. I was just, I was just like, I, I, after, I, think I, after I reread it, yeah, it I might mean, be Lucius Pussy. But still, his last name is fucking pussy. pussy. You can't win. Right? You can't win with you the last win. name. No matter what Luscious, you put in front of it. Lucius, it doesn't matter. It's He's a football player. Jack Pussy. It could be Isaac Pussy. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. It's no winning. No, there's no winning with yeah. that. Maybe it's Pusay, like Maybe. the girl on Orange is the New Black. That character's name is Pusay. That's, That's what it is. It's, it's Lucius Pusay. Lucius Pusay. <laughs> I didn't help him out at all. Oh, man. Oh. Hey, Mom. Um, so I'm so madly in love with Lucius. Um, and I want to, I don't want to be like Ferris anymore. I want to be Mrs. Pusay. <laughs> Are you cool <laughs> with that? Like, I mean, I don't want you to get mad, but can't you see me as like Mrs. Pusey? <laughs> and I want my dad, our, you know, your husband, to give Did us away. And I'm going to be Mrs. Pusey. And introduce the Pusey's <laughs> to, to the world. That is fucked up. It's a great name. Now that I think about it, it's a fucking awesome name. Anna Pusey? Anna, Anna Pousse. That is actually... I like it. Anna Pousse. Anna Pousse. It does Anna sound like a song. 
I'm the same. Don't you give me away. <laughs> Question number five. Dale DeBone. Somebody should buzz in. Regina. <laughs> Stripper? Stripper is the correct answer. 3-1. Next question. Because no one got we 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 were wrong with the my luscious. Yeah, so no one got yeah. credit for that. Yeah, my sister. You, I feel like we are we're gonna be sister in laws. Yes, we are. What? What is? Your, how old is your brother? Well, he is married, but oh. Um, <laughs> next question, Your Highness Morgan. Your Highness Morgan, is he a football player or a stripper? Regina buzzed in first. It sounds like a football player. And you are absolutely correct. You know why? It sounds like, you know, like some young kid in the hood and the mom just Your thought. Highness Morgan? Yeah. You know, like, you know how parents name those names? Yeah. Those. There was a football know, player named he, he Hate Me. Your Highness. There was, yeah. a, there was a football player. His name, he changed his name legally to He Hate Me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Just like Chad Ochocinco. Ochocinco did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Chad Johnson did the same thing. Um, but I bet yeah. Your Highness, his name was that name from birth. No That's, way. Yeah, no yeah. Way. I, I really think so. I really, really? think so. Yeah. All yeah. the ladies are in agreement. Yeah. yeah, totally. How do you guys know? There's because we, you, you, we've seen these names before. Yeah. Yeah. But Your Highness, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm, I could just see the mother now. Everyone is going to bow down to my baby. <laughs> we have two more questions, okay. by the way. Uh, Frosty Flakes. Buzz in. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> Frosty Flakes sounds to me like a porn star. The name of the game is football player or stripper? <laughs> Stripper. You're absolutely right. We have Whoa. one more. No way. Last one. Fair Hooker. Fair Hooker. Fair Hooker. F A I R. Anna. I guess I got to go with football star. And you're absolutely right. I don't know if he's a star, but he does <laughs> he's play he's for the player. Cleveland Browns. Fair Hooker. And you win. It's I win. To three. What do I get? What do I get? Do I Anna, get this, this drawing, she, this original? There has to be some prize that she, you can give her, right? Do you like it? I do. Really? Yes. Okay. Do I'm you to sign it? Yeah, I'll sign okay. it for you. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is the painting. This is the drawing that you drew for Ken Jong the other night. No. You're going to give it to Regina? Yes. All right. Well. <laughs> Wait, Ken Jong didn't take it with him? No. That means really? you're going to take it with him. That means he's an asshole. <laughs> I love And I'm going to show him one day this is what you you left you missed. <laughs> Anna Ferris. And she put a heart on it. Regina, will you describe what Anna did for you here? She made this original <clears throat> um Tell me and more, her, mommy. Yes, yes, Bo Mama. What is it, Bo Mommy? Yeah, Bo, Bo Mommy. mommy. Um, she made this original drawing of a person who looks like he was raised on cans, <laughs> eating cans because of the teeth. Tin but cans. Tin cans. <laughs> and he. Aluminum. Aluminum cans. And he has very interesting hair. Mommy, I love you. I love you back, boo. Um, and um, he has some deformities going on, but that's what makes <laughs> him special. That's what, make, that's what makes me love him. And um, he has glasses and beady eyes. Mommy, is he mad or is he sad? <laughs> Oh, he's happy. He's not mad or sad. He's happy. He's happy. He looks like he just had a fresh tin can not too long ago <laughs> to sharpen you. those teeth up on I love you. so they could be nice and I extra love you sharkly. So much. <laughs> he's my best friend, mommy. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I could just show everyone well, how we're gonna show original. Everyone, we're going to show everyone online. Yes. And this is your painting that's for you to keep. It's for me to keep and I will have it forever and ever. Bullshit you not. Cut to 15 yeah. years it, later it, it's and I come one- over your house and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Um, a wonderful original. <laughs> a wonderful okay, original. What do, you, so what do you guys say? Would you want to do something else right wait, now, so, or do you want to um, do a five-minute break okay, and then? So yeah. We hear, okay, so it's eight thirty-two. How do you guys feel? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm fine. Let's do. Let's okay. do five minutes or okay. ten minutes, and then we'll call up some uh, listeners and we'll give them some advice, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Sure. Sound good? Awesome. Sure. Yeah. Awesome. This is like the most fun ever. Okay, guys, you okay. ready? Yeah. All right. Guys, are we ready to call some people right Let, now? They need call. some help. Yes. Okay, so the first person we're calling right now while you two are holding hands and embracing. Kumbaya. I, lo- I, love, I love my Regina. <laughs> we're going to call. Do you mind if I possess you? Sorry. Uh, we're calling Cassie right now. Cassie's 27. Hello. Hey, Cassie. Cassie's in Denver, by the way. Cassie, hey, what's up? How are you? It's Sim. I am amazing. I actually got some great news, like just two, like probably twenty minutes ago. What, what? What happened? Tell us what happened. I got engaged. Oh my, oh gosh. my god! Are you serious, Cassie? You weren't engaged about six hours ago when I spoke to you, and you were ta- and you and you and you said that there was a chance that you were going to get engaged in the next few days because you guys are going away. And he proposed yes. to you now. Yeah, tonight we were at the place where we first met. There's a bar by our house, and I know it sounds super cheesy and crazy, but... No, it sounds romantic. Yeah, it was amazing. It was awesome. <laughs> we you didn't see it do coming? You want to, we, tell, tell us a story. But we're going to get into your, your problem and your situation in a second, but this is fucking amazing. Tell us what happened. How, how, what was the proposal all about? So, um, basically... There's a bar by our house, and it's where we first met. I was bartending here, and he came in, met me, and it's, you know, right before we went on our first date, he asked me out. It was amazing. And then um, we've been going here probably about once a week, every week. Uh, They have karaoke night, and I've got tons of friends here. Uh, (laughs) And tonight's karaoke night, so he's like, are we going tonight? And I was like, yeah, of course. So we went, and about halfway through, he never sings. So about 20, 30 minutes ago, the karaoke DJ was like, Zach. And I was like, what? (laughs) And they called him up and he's like, I'm not singing. He's like, will you come up here? And I just like lost it because I knew exactly what was happening. Oh, my God. What did he sing? Tell (laughs) us to keep going. He he didn't sing. No. Yeah. I mean, he didn't do like a speech or anything. He just said... I just have a question. Will you marry me? And I just was like in <gasps> shock. And I was just like, oh, my God. Yes. Oh. I lost it. Congratulations. That's amazing. That's incredible. By the way, Cassie, um, so Anna is here. And so is Regina King. We're so honored. We have Regina King here with us right now. By the way, Cassie. She is the wisest uh, Cassie, person let, I let me Let me tell you a little something about Regina King here. Regina King is nominated for another Emmy. She fucking won last year for American Crime. And this oh year, God. the Emmys are September 18th, and she's nominated again for American Crime. And, and I think she's going to win. If she does, she said that she was going to give me her Emmy. She did say that. Sure. Anna wants Regina's Emmy. She's and asked, she's yeah. asked Alice and Janney. Yeah, she's asked Alice favorite. and Janney for one of her 14 Emmys, but, yeah. but Alice yeah. wouldn't give. Allison hasn't given one up? No. no. We need to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Cassie, tell us what's going on with your fiance's ex wife. Um, so basically, my now fiance, his, he married really young. Uh, they were married for a couple of years, got divorced. So his ex-wife is still super close with his family. Like I'm talking like best friends with his sisters. Like he talks, she talks to his mom all the time. It's uh, and so recently, like she knows me because they actually are civil now. They had a pretty rough divorce, but they're civil now because they had dogs when they were married. And so they each took a dog and they kind of almost have like a shared custody of the dogs. Um, so they have to see each other every so often. 
I don't know. I mean, it's weird for me how close she is still with his family and how much they talk, hang out. And, um, she mm-hmm. asked him to ask me if I was comfortable with how close she is with the family and if she needs to back off. Well, I'm afraid to say, yeah, can you please back off? Because I'm afraid it's going to cause drama because um, the family's still really close to her. Can I talk? Yes. Because yeah. I'm, I'm feeling all types of things. Oh, about, here we go. Um, Regina, take it away. Look, Cassie, yes, he needs to tell her to back off. The fact that okay. she even asked him, she knows she needs to back off. I mean, mm-hmm. hello. <laughs> yeah. And are you, do, do, what are your feelings about her? Like, honestly, I mean, I don't feel like I don't hate her. I'm not like, oh, my God, this bitch. I'm just kind of, you know, she's there. She, They share a dog. Like, they share history with a dog. So every so often she dog sits for us. <laughs> Well, you guys but. need to find a new dog sitter. <laughs> the, the beauty, the beautiful part is I get it. You know, dogs are really animals are very dear to us, but it's not a kid. It's not a child. You know, the, I agree. The, yeah, it, it's a dog. And um, if 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 it's that if they are feeling it that tough and they're going to have shared custody over the dog, then the dog stays with her two weeks and then. You guys two weeks and, you know, you guys just keep bouncing it back and forth like that if it's that serious. But, yeah, she does need to back off. What What is your um, relationship with uh, your boo's parents? Um, I mean, it's good. His parents, you know, you can tell they're trying to reach out and be friends with me. And I'm trying my best to not, like get involved in their relationship with her. I talk to them. We're nice. I mean, there's no bad blood at all there. That's good. Most of the bad blood. Yeah. Most of the bad blood comes from his sisters. He has two sisters that are really close with her, Mm. with his ex-wife. And one of them still lives with my now fiance's parents. And the other one lives in Texas. So most of it kind of, I guess, reached its peak. Recently, his sister from Texas came up to visit the family and we were going to visit her and she's like, Oh, well, Hey, my ex-wife is going to be up there for overnight. She's going to be hanging out with the whole family. You guys can come up the next day and we got to like go to dinner with his sister. Well, his ex-wife got to spend the whole weekend with her Mm. and his whole family. So, I mean, it's just it like, it's kind of weird for me. He doesn't know what to say because he doesn't want to cause drama um, you know, between his sisters and his parents and his ex-wife. And she's here's the thing. I, the, no, the bottom line is you're about to be the wife and you feel uncomfortable. And, and, and that's, that's an important thing. And that's something that the whole family should respect. Um, you know, th- there might not be anything going on or any, um, funny business between your fiance and ex-wife and it it might just really be a genuine friendship still there um but you deserve to have the time on your own to discover that and you yeah, should yeah. you should demand that space i mean don't be a bitch about it or anything but definitely demand that space and i mean i think you know fuck the sisters get to know mom yeah, like, Dad, I know, as far as I know, as far as I can tell, Dad's definitely on my my side. Mom, and I just feel like he's kind of playing devil's advocate, trying to play between, you know, I've got two daughters, they're friends with her, I'm still yeah, friends with her. Yeah, she's kind of playing the fence a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, she's trying to play in the middle. Well, you've got Dad on your side, but you know, Dad's not going to say anything. He's no oh, whatever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, I mean it's just weird. It it's is just a weird. weird relationship. It, it it sounds like that that could be um you know a bit stressful because you they had history before you. So there's that part of you yeah. that always kind of feels like, well, uh, but what do they know that I don't know? Yeah, and I mean they only talk when it comes to dogs. Like, I mean, I'm not the type of girl to go through my boyfriend or now fiance's phone. I'm not Like, if he's like, yeah, I only talk to her when it comes to dogs, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I trust him, and I believe that he only talks to her when it comes to dogs. And I've glanced over before when he's texting her about the dog, and you can see it's just, like, days 
worth of like, you know, he'll text right. her for one day and then not text her for weeks. And it's only about the dogs. That's the only conversations him and her have. The only time they ever really see each other is when they're, you know, we went out of town this weekend. So he was like, hey, do you want to watch the dogs? Save us money on daycare. <laughs> so we dropped the dog off and picked him up later. <laughs> Just as long as you're honest, just be honest about how you feel. If you're feeling uncomfortable, then just keep saying it. And then maybe you should be the one to drop the dog off. Yeah. And I mean, most of it is like, I'm honest with him. He knows how I feel about it. He knows I'm kind of like uncomfortable with how close his family is still with her, especially with me in the picture. I mean, we just got engaged 20, 30 minutes ago. So who knows if it's going to change <laughs> in the next week or two. Um, but I mean, he knows, and we're kind of just stuck in a situation. Like, do we say something and risk like his family hating us because no. they're going to take her side over mine? No, they're not going to hate. What? They're not going to hate you guys. No, no, no. Okay. that's not going to happen. <laughs> no, no, not just, at all. Yeah, we were just like all confused because we're like, do we do we tell her? Yeah, can you please back off and have her risk telling his like mom and sisters like, oh, they're terrible people. That's not going to happen. And just hope. <laughs> Wait, how, can you explain no, that? That's the, not going to happen at all. The sisters. I want to know more about the sisters. And like, is there any way that you can explain to the sisters that that uh, you know this is this is my life now, and I I don't feel comfortable with this at all? Is there any way you can explain that to them? Okay, so it's kind of weird. His sisters are. I'm trying to describe them in the nicest way possible, but to me, they almost seem kind of fake like they never really talk like the one who lives with his parents anytime we're over there they never really talk to me when I'm around and if they do they're just like hey you know enough um when his sister came out from Texas and I met her she was she was sweet but she you could tell was just like I I don't care about this girl mm. <laughs> um so I mean I don't have a relationship at all with his sisters I have a younger sister so I know how it is when you have younger siblings and how they feel about older siblings. And I'm kind of close with my sister. That's a whole nother issue. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's weird for me. Like I've never talked to his sisters one-on-one. -on -one. Like I've tried, but I just, for the first couple months that I would like hang out with his parents, I kind of felt uncomfortable with how close like his ex-wife was to them. And I didn't know what to do. So I kind of was just super shy and I'm not a shy person at all. Well, my suggestion to you is that, I think you should be honest with mom about mm -hmm. how you feel. And okay. if his mom is as supportive as you say that she is, then mom should, and when I say how you feel, how you feel about the sisters, not that mm -hmm. you think that they're not cool, but that they make you <laughs> feel uncomfortable and you would like to have a deeper relationship with them. Now and and mm -hmm. because you're engaged now, you can really have that conversation, and mom can totally understand. And then you know, it, I think mom will probably be good at creating that space where maybe you, mom, and the sisters go out and do something to start to build that relationship. You know, because mm -hmm. it's gonna take time. It's not gonna be an overnight thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I think I think mom can be very helpful with that. Now, if she isn't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> she hasn't expressed that she hates me yet. So I'm, I'm oh, she I'm doesn't. Good. No, she doesn't hate you. He yeah. I mean, after right after it happened, like he called his parents. I called mine. And they seemed really happy. So they could be genuine. I'm hoping it is. Well, you know what? We're going to say that it is. We're not even going <laughs> to put energy towards it being anything else but that. Okay. Did you, how did you end up being so, like, wise and healthy? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to two weeks later, Cassie calls. It's like, you bitch, why did you tell me to talk to my mother-in-law to be? Now she hates No, that's me. a no, perfect I, advice. Seriously. You no, I, do, I, 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 yeah, advice. I feel like... You know, you don't want, there's no reason for you to think that mom is not going to want, and you, it sounds like this is her only son. Yeah, it is. She has one son and two girls. Oh, right. okay. So this is it. You say to mom Ooh. how much you appreciate her for raising such an amazing man. 
Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's Fuck really good. Well, well, be, be because it it, it, like it, 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 it helps to, you're, you're including her in your joy of right. finding this man. And you're letting her know that you know that it's part of the reason mom. why he's a great person is because she's his mom. And I think that will definitely diffuse anything that might have been brewing that you didn't know about. And I'll open up the doors for great conversation. Okay. All right. So I just got to bite the bullet and... Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. (laughs) Yeah, you do. So Cassie, Anna just wrote me a note saying that she wants to send you an engagement gift. Oh, my God. (laughs) That's amazing. I do. We're, We're over here all feeling... (laughs) <laughs> all warm. We're, we're we're excited for you. So I I hope that Regina's advice, you know, suffices. And no, it definitely does. <laughs> send me send me your address so Anna can send you a gift because this is awesome. Congratulations! Congratulations, oh. Cassie! Yay! I definitely will. Woo! Yeah, um, Anna, you and Chris are seriously like our couple, like idols like my now fiance is obsessed with your husband i'm not even kidding <laughs> oh. he's uh he's, he's ex-military and he's obsessed oh well i will say he's a gem chris is a gem he's a good man and um well, from what from what you show the public we both uh, think you guys are gems oh well thank you so much for sharing i agree and- cassie they're pretty awesome they make celebrities look cool Guess what, Regina? They do. <laughs> they do, don't they? Do you want to move in with us? I do. I saw a really great dark room upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I did. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you so much for the advice. I just, none of my friends have ever been in this situation, so no one knows how to help me. So I was like, I'll try. Uh, Someone's got to be able to help. <laughs> and Hope it works. Oh my gosh. And thank you so much for You're going to be all right. You're going to be fine. You're going to be, gonna be fine. Right. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, Cassie. Bye, Cassie. Bye. You wanna, do you wanna I do want to wrap it up. Okay. But, um, but also, here's the things that I want to say. Mm. First of all, Regina. Anna. You were fucking stunning. And I feel mad at myself for... I don't want to recognize how stunning you are. <laughs> okay? Just my own personal issues. So I should just receive that as love? Yeah. Yes, please. Also, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for letting me play with Jack. Are you oh, kidding? my gosh. Is there any chance you could come back? Can I come back and slide on the... But I might break it. I might be too big. No way. Also... But what about the pool? That okay, and I love the fact that I saw it covered up because I was like, "This feels like a pool," and it, you did such a good job with having the pool cover match the concrete because Thank I was like, "That's you. a lot of space out there. They should put a pool." <laughs> then I looked a little harder and was like, "That is, <laughs> that is a pool." <clears throat> I'm not smoking here, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just so excited here in the moment. Innocent. Mm-hmm. You are an innocent. I know all my friends are going to be listening to this and like, <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. That so you're much even for better being. in real life. Really? No way. You're gonna make me blush. Oh, even man. better. Okay, so what? How awesome is it to work with Chuck? Will Laura? you come sleep with me? <laughs> <laughs> we could watch Tonight? Game of Thrones. I don't understand or, or Game of Thrones of because I didn't get into it. Or House could, of Cards. We could do like anything you want right in my bed. I'll give you an Ambien. <laughs> I'll give you this I'll brush pretty, your teeth for you. This, this, I'll this do perfect pill. You, you know what you're sounding like right now. I'm not going to say it. Who? Oh. Yeah, Mike knows. Him. Yeah. Yeah. She, oh. Aaron, no. But well, we won't. We won't because I'm a respectful <laughs> young lady. Oh, and okay. I'm not going to throw but anyone just, under the bus that they've been thrown yeah. under. I just was saying, like, we could have. Really? <laughs> Cut to 
podcast 324. I'm just be along. <laughs> Regina is Regina King on the totally good podcast once teeth. again. <laughs> I prefer choppers. Brush my choppers. Right. Regina, okay. thank you. Thank you so I love much. You. I love you too. So September 18th, Emmys, we're all rooting for you. September You're going to win. From your mouth to God's ears. You're going to win. This is two in a row. You know, look, I've won. Yeah. So that was great and an amazing experience. I think this time around, it's just more like, it's going to be more relaxed. It's not going to be as... You don't feel pressure do to win? To Did you feel pressure the first time to win? You know what? I There was a time that I, a part of me that felt like, you know, I don't have a chance. And then Mikey over here was yeah. like, no, I think you do. And I'm like, really, Mike? So Mike started getting me going, feeling like, okay, I do have this little yeah, chance. Absolutely. And after I won, he was backstage waiting for me, like, what I tell you? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Mike, your publicist, is sitting with us here tonight. Yeah, oh. he's amazing. By the way, I really don't like publicists. And this is the first. No, I've never been with a publicist he's this long. Awesome. He's, he's awesome. freaking awesome because he gets me. Yeah. He knows I'm like not into all this shit. And he knows that I say no to almost everything. And when I really don't need to say no, he's like, yeah, you got to do it. So he's really been able to help no. me. Yeah. He's, he's awesome. He's awesome. Uh, I'm here because he has his him. finger on the pulse. Oh. Yes. Wait, will you do me one favor? Yes. All right. Um, will you please say "fuck you, Sim" in like maybe the sexiest voice? Okay. Fuck you, Sim. Ooh, that's oh, that good. was really good. That was really that's good. Very, that was very, very really good. sexy. I like that. I like that a lot. Wait, Amy. Yes. Come on. You might no. need to. Come on. I don't oh fuck no. Fuck you, I Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Fair enough, right? Yeah. 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 Follow us on Unqualified on Twitter and Facebook and leave us a review on iTunes. Give us five stars, please. We we we're working really hard. At least I think we're working hard. So maybe we deserve we're five stars. Fun. Why well, you're working hard. Yeah. 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 I would like yeah. You know, yeah. we love reading we love reading the reviews and um are you on any social media that we can promote for you? I am. I am. I am Getting better every day at it. <laughs> <laughs> but I am on, um, this is going to make Mike laugh. I'm on the Insta tweet. <laughs> Insta tweet. Follow Regina King on Insta tweet. Uh, I am Regina King on <clears throat> Instagram and Regina King on Twitter. Nice. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. I am Regina King. I am Regina King. I am Anna Ferris. I am Regina King on Insta Tweet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's kind of like, uh, what's that commercial where the lady is like, um, help me on the chap snap. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Regina. I love you back. And Thank um, you so much. I can't wait here. to come back and play. Oh, we would love would to have you, you back. Yes. Would you, would you yes. please take my son? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, if you don't get him back, remember you said this. <laughs> remember you said this. I feel take like him. You'd be an amazing mother. <laughs> if he comes back with a little blonde afro. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Oh, I sure will not. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> uh, Good night, everybody. Good night. Cheers. actually um amazing i mean they totally just transformed um anna into a black woman and me into a white woman and <laughs> they say it would be offensive but i don't think it was no it was not offensive at all and um i am honored to stand here 
on behalf of um, don't cry please don't cry um don't cry please um if you cry i'll cry um i love you Anna. i love you too. please please don't okay i'll keep it together um i like to say a big thank you to all of those studios that turned it down and um, a big fuck you and a big f you oh, i can say fuck you you can Fuck you. Fuck you. And um, we're here. We're and here. we did this shit. Drops mic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm speaking it into existence. Yeah. That we will work yes. together. Yes. So that's why I had twins. to do it over. Twins. <laughs> Maybe twins. Let's be twins. Let's be twins. As mama. long as my body could look like yours looked in... Uh, house bunny. Oh my god, what were you just eating? Carrots? Bomb. No. Jeez. <laughs> now it's like fucking. Ugh, oh dude. my gosh. Titty, titty, tongue tongs. Titty, tongue tongs. I know. Tell it me make about any them. Sense. Well, but yeah, it's just like big padded things and like sucking in things and then eventually like actually like the big things. Yeah, what, what but you had on bathing it. suits. Bikinis, you look freaking hot. I love you. I was hungry <laughs> <laughs> all the time. I could imagine. Jeez, you look so awesome in that movie. I was like, look at this bitch here. Oh my gosh! All right, so all right, so now um, we have some things that we also want to talk about. Okay. Okay. So, um, oh wait. So we already kind of got into a little bit of this thing. Should we go into deal breaker? Let's do it. Okay. We're going to do a deal breaker okay. segment, which means um, and you don't have to talk about your personal life at all. All right. But this is a scenario where you're single. So real life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to present some scenarios to you and you will say deal breaker or no. Okay. Okay. And if you feel like elaborating on why free. it's a deal yes. breaker or not, okay. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Okay. So, number one, you are seeing a guy that you really like. He takes you to Ojai for your first couple's trip. It's going great. After dinner at Oliviella, things start to get hot and heavy in the room. Right as he is about to climax, he screams out, Show me the money. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry. Bro. It depends. I can't really say it's a deal breaker. <laughs> if I climax before. <gasps> oh, okay. All right. I like this. I think yeah. that's important. Uh huh. <laughs> if I climax more than once. So let's say a couple of times before he yelled out, show me the money. I just might pretend like I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I feel like I, I would do. You know, know, I mean, he, he did take me to Ojai and had an amazing massage. And yep. now, <laughs> if I didn't climax. Okay, but let's, well, okay, let's say it right, like this. All right. Jump the morning. Oh. Uh, then yeah, that might be a deal breaker if he didn't look sexy doing it. <laughs> Fair enough. But I must say that if I was able to get mine first, I might have to, you know. I like, I like it. Generosity yeah. of spirit. I like there it. you go. <laughs> okay, next one. All right. You think you have found the one, a great guy with a successful career in sports medicine. After dating for two months. Oh, oh wait, this sounds like it might be. Yeah, yeah, you, you might be hitting on something. All right. We don't know. We don't know. It's going to stray. Okay. Okay. Go. Very far from okay. it. whatever <laughs> was yep. might have been happening. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. A great guy with a successful career in sports medicine. After dating for two months, he takes you to a movie, to, uh, movie date to see Pete's Dragon. Halfway through the movie, he grabs your hand, puts it down his pants, and says, Why don't we let my dragon come out and fly? 
Oh my God! Yeah, deal breaker. That's <sighs> disgusting. That sounds so like you know. First thing that I want to ask of you. I know. That's a creepy picture I drew for you. You didn't draw this, did you? I sure did. <laughs> but um, I was thinking that maybe, <clears throat> um, and I want to get into this later, but you've won like a lot of awards and like so deservedly and I don't know what that process is like because I've never been nominated I mean I think maybe for an MTV movie award by the way that's probably best. the most relevant for <laughs> well, people I didn't didn't win but, but you were nominated I was nominated <laughs> but I was thinking that we could start off if you don't mind if I pretended that one of these Steins was an Oscar and you were accepting it on my behalf and you were going to do a thank you on my behalf. Are you okay, ready? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Regina, are you ready? Oh, Anna. Anna would be just, first of all, she would say, stop calling her Anna. <laughs> and then second, she would say, I really, really am proud of this. Award for Scary Movie 17. But my best work, was it House Bunny? Was it? Was that it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir, there in the audience. This is, this is really dear uh, to Anna. She, she couldn't be here. Um, but this means a lot. This means a lot. I, I feel really honored to accept this. I'm going to take this home with me. Anna and I are going to have a nice bottle of wine and we'll see if she goes home with it because this was something that I really was supposed to get. <laughs> Where was I? What happened there? <laughs> I wish I could win a freaking Oscar. Well, wait a minute. So can you accept this on my behalf? Uh, hey, Sim, do you know what the, some of the Hi. music is? The, the the actual music that they play yeah. during the Oscars, yeah. like the 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 uh, yeah, turns orchestral, out, yeah, like something like and Virginia King wins the Oscar. I was hoping to be like something like seventies exploitation. <laughs> oh, excuse me, you're not <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, I'm not here. Um, I I am so honored um, to accept this award on Regina's behalf. Um, there's no one in Hollywood that has earned this more than she has. Um, this is about freedom of speech. This is about um, this is about the idea of what it is to be a woman. This is the idea of after you've been molested by your father, <laughs> how we go through this journey together. And Regina could not be here tonight um, because I believe that she is in Sardinia at a gorgeous hotel. I won't elaborate. Um, but I will say, on behalf of all women who have felt unhurt underprivileged women who should drink out of a beer stein <laughs> this is for Regina Regina the name that means queen <laughs> I want to accept your award over <laughs> after a speech like that that means so much you, you're you here do, you want to do it again I do, but I feel like I, I, it would be an epic fail because it wouldn't be as. If you want to try it, if you want to try it again, you can try it again. I was joking. No, but I, I mean, yeah. Let's I try it again. You. Let's try it again. No, no, 
we no? Have no, no, because I have like a really awesome idea. Okay, so yes. Yes. really, she's gonna yeah. do it. Okay. So um, <gasps> really, this yes. is gonna be my fantasy yeah. come true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much uh, for um, for 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 you know not just nominating Anna, but that she would actually win. Um, we worked so hard on this movie together. This was a labor of love for us. Um, twins. Twins. We and playing twins, and people said we couldn't do it. And <laughs> I mean, our makeup and hair team. You can yeah. tell. Yes, I, I'm. I'm yes, that I'm, like, I'm receiving it. Yes. <laughs> I'm not lying. I would not lie to you. Jack and Ian's mamas. <laughs> I would not lie to you. You look fucking stunning. And you know I like when fucking stunning. Why why when you put fucking in front of something it means that much more? Like it it it, it, it Empowerment. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's real when you say I'm fucking Fuck. serious. Yeah. It's much different than I'm serious. I'm fucking serious. I'm fucking serious. It means more. Especially when you're a person coming from conviction. It's like, yeah. yeah. Okay. All so, right. so another. Um, you've been dating a guy for three months. Okay. He takes you to the beach, one night to watch a meteor shower. The mood is very romantic. Suddenly, he brushes the hair behind your ear, leans in, and whispers sweetly, "My mom always called my penis June Bug. Would you please rename it for me?" That's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you guys say no to before you went with that one? We went through did, a bunch. Wow. <sighs> we went through, like, June Bug was but the name we really- came, with, came up with. That, that was Anna's. <laughs> wow. That one made me kind of sweat a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. It was sounding kind of sexy. I wanted to go bound, yeah, down, like down. You, you, and, you know, I was moving good. through it. You're in Cabo on the beach. Oh. Midnight. But I think it's interesting that that her, um, his mom named the penis Junebug. Well, that's what I want to know. Why yeah. would the mom name his penis Junebug? Well, I mean, my only thought could be, you know, maybe the first time he peed on her, changing the diaper, and she was just like, you and your little June bug. Or, <laughs> I don't know. What the hell? Why is a mom naming a son's penis? <laughs> oh, God. that's Don't tell me you. No one's here has named their child's <laughs> penis, right? I, I'm, not, I'm not offending anyone by saying what mom would do that right now, am I? <laughs> yeah, I was all like in it. And then you said, my mom. Right, right. Yeah. And I knew it was going to go way left. It took a weird but, turn. Yeah, but I didn't know it was going to, like, I that know. was like a U-turn. I know. Yeah. It was kind of yeah. awful. Kind of awful. I mean, great in, in in that vein of the... But what would you name, what would be, like, a good name for a man's penis? Well, I think a good name for a woman's vagina is Heather. <laughs> So, <laughs> I think, isn't Heather, it's a good name. It is a good name. So is that what you call it? Like, uh, like uh, Heather is really annoyed right now. She needs to be pleased. <laughs> Something like that. That would yeah. be good, yeah. right? I should totally yeah. talk about that. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm totally fine, but Heather's really annoyed. <laughs> Heather needs some attention. <laughs> Lots of attention. <laughs> She's high maintenance. Yeah. She comes from Orange County. <laughs> from Orange County. <laughs> oh, Heather from the Bay. Um, mm-hmm. What would be a good male, a name or for a name. Pe- Yeah, for a penis. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Should it be something like slightly emasculating? Like Philippe. <laughs> no, because I think you'd laugh every time. I think, but, it, but is that kind of empowering, or should it be something like um, crispy? <laughs> I don't know why that just came to my head. I feel like you're gonna chomp, chomp, chomp at the yeah, um, Mister um, Crispy. crispy. <laughs> <laughs> That could be one. I think. I think that might be one. That's 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 the top for, the front runner right now. Um, men, 
What would you yeah. guys like? Oh, God. Don't ask me. But come on. Do you have like a... You guys all have names for your penis. I know. You I know we kind of do. but you like don't tell us. You know you do. Maybe. You know you do. That's true. Maybe you're right. You know you do. Have you do dated you? someone that's named his penis? Never? No. Never told me his name, but I know every man has a name for it. You guys are just too into... You just have to. Do you think... What's better? Pussy? Uh... Cunt. Like, what's like? like what's I think good, you're talking about like yeah, yeah, vagina name. I think, I think vagina isn't sexy when you're in the yeah. The, like, yeah, can I put this in your vagina? vagina. Yeah, that's yeah. like. Mm. Um, I think yeah. pussy. Yeah, is pussy the best is one. Yeah, yeah. 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 When, when you're, you know, when you're talking about yeah, you know, yeah, pleasing Heather. Yeah, I love. <laughs> then the way you call you're her looking at me right now. <laughs> My husband's gone. <laughs> And I am, I am, really, I'm lonely. I don't know what you're doing. You're like, what are you doing? Me. Yeah. After uh, the interview. Uh, yeah. Who you what are we doing after the podcast? <laughs> you can <laughs> sleep over, really. Um, uh, I'm getting nervous <laughs> in the best of ways. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay. So wait, I think pussy, pussy is better than, than vagina. Cunt is not cunt is, is like, that's bad. You know, yeah. come, come, you, ki- come kiss my cunt. Sexy. But I do what I like to own that word. So I say it a lot. But if you say if you lick my cunt, yeah, that no. doesn't sound you the same totally as a lick right. my yeah. pussy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So pussy's the winner. Pussy's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. What if what if a man got his penis chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Hey, hey, Regina. Yeah. I know we just met, but how would you like a little taste of my chicken? chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is what do they say on um? <clears throat> what's the um? Oh gosh. Okay, I don't remember which one. I want to say it's Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. You guys probably don't watch it. I do. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. But the Puerto Rican girl calls it beefcake. Mm. She calls it beefcake. A man's penis a beefcake. Her man's penis, her husband's beefcake. That's oh, that's that's, that's, a, piece uh, of that's that a huge cake. compliment. Yeah. I would love for I would love for Amy to call my <laughs> penis beefcake. Beef cake. Oh, yeah, what would be like the female equi- like shouldn't it be something like uh I don't know, like tight water, like something something that's like super tight like br- well, it needs like to be br- something that's warm. And tight and wet. Like, yes. What, what's all of that? Um, um, Help us out, guys. What's ca- warm? Ca- cavernous, <laughs> like um, warm. A burrito. Oh my God! But didn't someone? Um, the, the there was a movie where a woman said that um, her big burrito. It was yes. Oh my God! That is it. A burrito's good because I know I've heard it. In a movie, and I can't remember which movie it was, but she called it her big burrito. I have to ask Karina. I have to call my sister because she's like. I don't think that Chris would be if I was like, oh my god, baby, my big burrito is craving (laughs) your (laughs) beefcake. If you if you you say it with an accent, burrito, (laughs) my big burrito. See, that didn't Maybe. sound so bad. That was a little rush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Right. Next Maybe big burrito. Oh, bloody. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, uh, wait, should we go on to the game or should we do this? <laughs> this is really funny. Okay. Here's the okay. thing. Here's the thing. We're, like, like, we're going to test it out. Okay. She may be completely turned off okay. and she may want to leave okay. after this. This question. is another deal breaker? Yeah. Because okay. of the phrase we used here. Okay, let's let's just. just what if I don't understand it? Can I just say I don't understand? You'll understand. you'll get it. You'll totally you'll context clues. You'll okay, get it. okay. Yeah. All right. I will understand way. Le- oh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, listen, I'm just at the. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> you are on an incredible fourth date with a man. He says, "My ex and I didn't work out. It was hard. We weren't very mature at the time and got married too young." We didn't have our careers figure out. figured out. One night I said to her, 
can I hot juicy on your face? And she just up and left me. Pee in your face? Is that what hot juice is? No, something else. It, come, yeah, come in your face. Yeah, yeah. Hot juice in your face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hearing you say that was amazing. <laughs> well, clearly, it'd be a deal breaker. Um, but it's really intimate. It's really an intimate moment between you and He's someone that's not just you. a fourth date. <laughs> He's saying, like, I thought, you know, everything was going well. And I don't know. I just said, can I hot juicy? I don't know what could have possibly gone wrong. And then he just had no clue. But he's sharing with me as he's talking to my back, walking away. <laughs> Getting further and further away till I'm just a speck. Fourth date, hot so juice get, you in the face. I guess you're sharing so with me that you wanted to hot juice your girl. Breaker. That is a deal breaker because, well, <clears throat> I have to say, let's just say that pervy. Yeah. First of all, what's about? Pete's dragon? It's, it's a child, it's child's movie. Yeah, that's why I said it's so, so perfect. Just making sure that I did get that movie right. Who wrote this stuff? Uh, no, this one. This and one is Cassie. That no, was Cassie. <laughs> Somebody's like turning red and ducking. Yeah, that wouldn't be a deal breaker for sure. I like it. Um, okay, now this is involving a child, your son. Probably deal breaker already. Your son brings home a woman he really likes. Would this be a deal breaker? And we'll get back to the other deal breakers involving your sex life later. Um, <laughs> your son is dating a young woman that you really get along with. One evening, over wine, she tells you she doesn't want kids because she's really worried about her pussy being enlarged. <laughs> oh, her poor vagina. <laughs> well... Do you like her? <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the thing. Do I really like her? Well, you did before, but after maybe she said, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You know, hey, if, if, that, if she's his jam, I mean, I guess I have to. Oh, my God. You're so much better than I am. Because you want grandkids? No. I want, oh. No, I wouldn't want, like, my son's <laughs> wife to be like, I don't want my pussy getting big. Well, he may not want it to get big either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about him. Like, you know, that might be, th th that's their conversation. I would just, I just, yes, it would probably be uncomfortable if she started okay. talking about her. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of a role play with you. Okay. Let's pretend I'm uh, your son's girlfriend. Okay. And we're, we're, where are we? Um, we're at your house. Whatever finish you have on this table is great. You just kind of beat it up like a sports car. <sighs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Hi, Mama Gina. Girl, I told you about calling me Mama Gina. <laughs> I know, but I can't help it. I just feel like we're kindred spirits. I'm your spirit animal. Yeah. <laughs> you are my loyalness. Um, <laughs> but <sighs> I need to talk to you about your son. All right. What about him? I love him so, so, so much. I do too. Mm, I know. Mm. Um, but um, he wants to have a kid at some point, I think. And I just really feel like my pussy is going to get really big if I have a kid. Well, if there was a way for you to have a child without, please, can you can we use the word vagina instead? And I like vagina with a B instead of a V because it's more personal. <laughs> You're like my ba mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, think of me as your ba mama. If you could have. A child without your vagina getting big, would you want to have a child? 
How much of my life do you think I would have to give up? A, a, a big deal of it. But there would be so much more to life you'd gain. Like what, but mama? <laughs> well, you'd have unconditional love. You've had, you would have someone that loves you, whether your vagina is big or small. But you already give that to me. No, I don't, sweetheart. <laughs> you should hear the things I say about you when you're not here. <laughs> But it's all with love, and it's all—it's uh, all from a loving place. I will say that you would also gain a friend that trusts and believes in you, no matter what you do. My child's gonna be my best friend. Um, be careful with that. I'm just saying. Uh, oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, what a. But mama. What, yes, baby. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. And I love Hollywood. Did and you I get into know. those pills again? <laughs> <laughs> well, mm, I told you, you stay out of my yard. No, and I told you stay out of it. <laughs> but, but, Mama, I also want to know how to make it in Hollywood. Mm. You know, I don't think my son is right for you. You're fucking stunning. Oh, thank you. It is I have so on a fucking true. Full face of makeup because I came from an interview. Well, you look. You're just fucking stunning, Regina. Oh. Are you telling the truth? I am. Okay. <laughs> See? Why are we. We are like making love. Right? Oh, 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 be 